Welcome back. In this lesson, I'd like to teach you a really cool piece of music called Johann Sebastian Bach's Prelude in C Major. This is a really great piece to learn if you're a beginning or intermediate pianist, simply because A, it's fairly easy technically. There's a bit of memorization that has to go on. Uh, but other than that, it's not very challenging. And B, it sounds very sophisticated. So it really motivates you to keep on uh, learning it. Here's how this video is going to be broken down. First, I'm going to play the piece in a medium tempo so you can hear what it sounds like. And I'm also going to show on the screen the notes I play. In the second part of this video, uh, after I finish playing the piece, I'm going to slowly walk you through the main points and give you pointers and tips on how to uh, finger the chords and uh, how to learn the piece and what to watch out for. So let's get started. So let's discuss the song a bit and how you should practice it. First of all, you've probably figured out by now why the song is fairly easy. It's very repetitive. So each bar is, except for the last uh, two or three bars, is comprised of some basic repeating pattern. And the only thing that changes is the notes themselves. And the pattern is this. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you're playing two notes with your left hand, and then three notes with your right hand, repeat it twice. And this repeats throughout the song. For example, the next bar. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, one. So this repetitive rhythmic element uh, basically frees you up to just remember the notes you have to play. And for that, all you need to do is rewind this video and pause in each bar. And I've outlined the notes that you have to play uh, for each bar. For example, the first bar has C, E, 
for the left hand, and then G, C, E for the right hand. I also wrote down the fingerings of the, 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 the chords, or the notes, uh, in the video. So you can try to follow my fingerings, or you can substitute them for your own if there's anything that you know, maybe feels a bit awkward or, or weird. For example, the first chord, uh, I use this fingering. Some people, for example, might find it easier to use the, the left hand <clears throat> the uh, third and first fingers instead of the fourth and second, which I use. So it's really a matter of experimentation on your part. Just one last word about the fingering, in case you've forgotten, uh, the fingers on your hands have numbers, so it's one, two, three, four, five. And similarly for the left hand, one, two, three, four, five. So thumb is first on both hands, and pinky is fifth on both hands. The only bar, the, the only two, three bars that are really different from the rest are the last two. Uh, which which uh, have this sort of arpeggio pattern. Which you'll just have to follow the fingers and notes which I've written explicitly on the screen. That's it. I hope you'll have fun learning and performing this piece. And I'll see you next time.